வணக்கம் 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 அக்கா அக்கா கலிகிராஃபி ஆஃப் தமிழ் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஸோ பியூட்டிஃபுல் நவ் இட் டஸ் லுக் அ பேட் கிரீபி so full of palms and greens and trees everywhere i'm having such amazing experiences ooh piping hot but i just find it so peaceful and i find it also so beautiful hey guys julia here today we are in the city of chennai for our first time this is my first time this is shrey's first time this is actually also the first time we are visiting the state of tamil nadu There is so much that I want to try and so much that I want to see. But before we start, I need to go and get a piping hot filter coffee because without that the day can't start in Chennai. Let's go. It's time for me to get a coffee to keep going and visit other amazing things here in Chennai and this is the place for hot flavorful South Indian filter coffee. So we are here at Ratna Cafe. It's supposedly one of the best places where to get South Indian filter coffee. Let's go. But before we go, I want to show you something so beautiful. The calligraphy of Tamil is just so beautiful. Look at this. They're just so like little drawings. I really want to ask them if they can write my name. I don't know if it's possible somehow. Now we'll see how it is. Anyway, let's go. South Indian filter coffees. Can you do one without sugar? No, idli sambar. Idli sambar. Idli sambar is our favorite. <laughs> People here are so friendly. Like we literally do not tell them that we want to take a video. And still they come, they explain, they get really like happy. I guess that we are here. It's so warm. I'm having such amazing experiences. Like this is the first time I'm served idli sambar like this. Literally on a plate. it's all immersed together it's amazing i feel like i mean guys i'm i'm indian but this is like completely new experiences for me wow oh this is amazing wow it's too good yes thank you How do you say thank you? Nandri. 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 <laughs> Nandri. Ooh, piping hot. This is what Chennai is famous for. Piping hot filter coffee and other things too, but this is one of the signature. This is so full of flavors. Wow. I can definitely taste the beans, the roasted beans. One thing that I love about filter coffee is that it's so earthy. You just feel like you're having like a hot drink directly from nature. I don't know how to explain it. I ask for it without sugar because I always try to keep my sugar level low. And to be honest, I love it like this. I also have Americano coffee without sugar, like espresso without sugar. So maybe I'm a bit of a weirdo. I don't know how to say really good, but I'm gonna learn. I need to learn some more Tamil words. Then okay. you are Akka. 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 And then Nandri. Nandri. And how do I say Namaste? Uh, Manak. Banakam. 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 Banakam Akka. Akka. Banakam. How do you say How are you? Nalarking Lao. Nalarking Lao. Ah, Nalarke. Haha. Nalarke. Ah, Nalarke. I am fine. Nalarke. Nalarke. Oh, okay. <laughs> area uh, of chennai that is called the mandi colony apparently in this area they shot a horror movie called exactly the mandi colony what happened like people got really scared people took the movie too seriously and they got so scared that people stopped coming here and so they had to really just shut down the road it really looks like ghost town 
<laughs> to be honest, I'm not scared. But, but it's the daytime. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe at night, like this would be scary. Generally, I get scared very quickly. So. But you do watch horror movies or like scary yes. movies, and I don't. I really don't like scary movies. If something happens to me, if this is actually haunted, then it was nice knowing you all. Maybe you can keep all of my stuff. <laughs> now it does look a bit creepy. Wow. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there are ruins everywhere. I wonder what they do at night. When they come here and play scary movies or like play scary stuff, scary games. I don't know if this was like this or they for to shoot the movie they made it like this. But yeah, I can see that uh, at night this could be a bit creepy. Okay, I'm out. Let's go. <laughs> I hope we haven't uh, upset any spirit who resides here, so sorry for making anybody upset. I think at night this is really scary. I don't know which movie we're watching next on Netflix, it's called <laughs> Demandi Colony. This is like a Tollywood movie then. No, Tollywood is Telugu, this is Tamil. So how do they call this? I don't know. Guys, if you know what's the Tamil uh, film industry called, let us yeah, know. Yeah, how Tamil do you film. call the Tamil film industry? So I really liked it, but also I felt a bit uncomfortable going around. Maybe because I was a bit like, oh. It's a really tropical vibe in Chennai, and sometimes I have to say it reminds me of Bali. It's so full of palms and greens and trees everywhere. And people are so chill. And there are really nice cafes, I have to say. like. Really cool cafes. Oh, that's another cool cafe. This is a look like coffee roasters and everything. This is really cool. If you have been following this channel for a bit of time, you probably know my obsession with Bali. Okay, so our next stop in Chennai is a San Thomas Mount Basilica. First, we have to cross the road. How are we gonna cross it? It is a lot of rush today because it's the 31st, it's the last day of the year, 31st of December. People are traveling and doing a lot of things for a parting tonight. Nevertheless, I have to say that Chennai is super clean and it's also quite disciplined in a way, like the traffic is not mad in the sense that people try to enter in all corners i just love the vibe it's so chilled i feel so relaxed so now we can go so i brought the shawl because even though i'm not sure i just think it's much better to go in a religious place by covering the shoulders i think i feel it's much more respectful so let's go wow it's just so beautiful so this is the virgin mary it was first built in the 16th century, but then uh, the British have rebuilt it in the 19th century. Wow, I just love the architecture. It kind of reminds me of the Milan Dome. This in Italian, these little pointy, you know, sculptures are called guglie. I think guglie is one of the most difficult words to pronounce. Guglie. 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 Well done. Oh, I must say this is really beautiful, like I've seen some really pretty churches in Europe, but this is right up there. I also love the fact that they ask people to leave the footwear outside. I know it's a, it's a thing here, but it's not a thing in our churches and basilicas. So I come from Padua and Padua has the Sant Antony Cathedral, Sant Antony Basilica. This one actually has Saint Thomas, so it's like an apostle. Saint Thomas was an apostle and uh, Saint Anthony was a saint. So the basilica, like you don't have to leave your footwear outside, but I find it really respectful. It's just like, you know, same religion, but it's so different. I love it. So I was born and raised uh, Catholic and throughout the majority of my life, my early life, we had one Pope and that was the Pope Saint Paul. He 
just did such incredible things and I just find it so beautiful that they made a statue here. I think it was one of like the longest standing popes in the in the history of Catholicism and it was such a kind heart. Wow, I love the Christmas decorations. So beautiful. I'm gonna try not to speak too loudly, um, but I just find it so peaceful and I find it also so beautiful that they just let birds enter. It just, I don't know, it seems like there is like nature and you know, everything is so celestial, everything is so pristine and beautiful. I don't know how to explain it, it's such a like peaceful energy here. Yeah, it's so beautifully decorated for Christmas. It's just, yeah. I think it's one of the most beautiful churches I've ever been to, have to be honest. And these birds that they are chirping inside, they make the vibe a completely another thing, you know? Wow, I absolutely did not know that St. Thomas tomb is actually here. So beautiful. I just love discovering India through the recommendation of the locals. While we were looking for filter coffee, we passed by the De Monte colony. With our local telling us his story and the movie filmed here, we would have never known this. The best travel advice I can give you here in India is go with the flow and go with the locals. Follow their recommendations for food. They know best. There is no ranking and no article that will ever beat the joy of allowing a local to guide you through their world. Curious to see what else we saw in Chennai? Part 2 is coming next.